Shut up and take my money. I'm grading from LinkedIn Sales Navigator core version, which is the standard LinkedIn Sales Navigator version to LinkedIn advanced version is a pain in the neck. In this video, I'm going to show you the ins and outs of the entire process, which is not really easy. And I will explain you what exactly Sales Navigator Advanced is and how you can use it to make your business even better. And if you find this video useful and you like this video, smash the like button for me and subscribe to the channel because I will be sharing more videos just like this going forward. And it's always fun to have you around here. Enjoy this video. Thank you. If you're watching this video, then you probably have already tried to upgrade LinkedIn Sales Navigator Advanced version, but you failed miserably because LinkedIn makes it so hard to actually upgrade it there. It's not like you just go in there, press the button, and then all of a sudden you get this higher tier version of LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is actually really, really useful. No, it's not like that. You actually need to go create a support ticket, process the full refund, and after that you can resubscribe. So I'm going to show you how it's all done right here. You are on LinkedIn in your profile section, and then you click this button up here. Then you're going to click help. It will prompt this little window. And all we need to do is click this bit here. We end up on LinkedIn sales navigator, basically LinkedIn help page. What we need to do is actually scroll all the way down. We're going to scroll all the way down and click this little button here, which says contact us. You see the way LinkedIn doesn't really, doesn't want to show you where to contact them. So you don't click this button. Looks promising. Create a support ticket. By the way, this menu might look a little bit different for you. If you have a LinkedIn sales navigator paid version already, like you have the core versions, you, your menu might be slightly different. Okay. So bear that in mind. I don't have this account activated because I'm actually in this transition mode where I'm switching between the core version and advanced version. And I just wanted to record the video before I go any further. Now I'm going to create this uh, support ticket. LinkedIn is going to offer me some options because obviously it doesn't want me to reach out to the support and help, wants me to solve all my problems myself. Once you're on this page, you're like, okay, I have issues with premium subscription and uh, you click this button here. But in reality is that, um, and again, this is my menu right now. Yours might be different. So you actually might have a button which says, oh, you know, you didn't have question. Like your question has not been answered. Reach out to us. But in this case, it doesn't show up here. LinkedIn has a bunch of, you know, self-help kind of guides of what you can do. So what you instead do is you click other and then you click, say, type in upgrade account and click search. Now you can see there is a bunch of results, but here's the creative support ticket. This is direct. This is exactly what, what you need here. Now you have to, this is my email here. Um, then you have to pick the type of the issue. So in this case, it would be your account bill billing. It doesn't really matter because LinkedIn will transfer your message. Uh, like these guys that work internally, they will, um, like LinkedIn sales navigate in, in this platform in this case. So website on what device you can say, whatever it is in your case, Blackberry is still here. Crazy. So I can say that. And then for your question, you are going to insert something like this you're going to say the following. So you say, Hey, yeah, I want to upgrade to sales navigator advanced version, which is exactly what you were looking to do in this uh, specific case. And then you have to say these things. I understand you need to cancel my core subscription. Please proceed without hesitation. Because again, you are probably running the core version right now and you want to cancel the core version and then go to the advanced version. So you need to tell them specifically that is you understand. Yes. And that is the case. They have to cancel the core version. So you tell them exactly what needs to be done. Please proceed without hesitation. Then the next bit, it's like, uh, I had some messages, you know, they reached out to some of my clients as well saying like, do you understand what you're doing? Do you understand that the advanced version is a different version? And do you understand that the features are, you know, different? So do you really want us to proceed? So again, it took some extra time. So I don't want you to waste any of the time. So just in case, include the sentence right here as well. I confirm that I understand what the advanced version is all about. Please proceed with a cancellation of the core subscription. Thank you, LinkedIn. Shut up. Take my money. Let's just rock and roll. Now, once you have that all that done and you click the submit button, you will start getting messages like this. So thanks for reaching out to us. We apologize for the delay. To address the request concern, please know that we'll be transferring this ticket to a teammate who's an expert in this area. My teammate will be in touch with you. Ta -di -ta -di -ta. That's how it works. And then you give it more time. 
I'm, I'm like, okay, please. Yeah, so that was six days ago. And then the next message was, actually it was pretty quick. And then he's basically saying, yeah, so apologize for the convenience cost, ta, -da -da. So they refund the money and then they give me a link to upgrade to the sales navigator advanced version. And this is when you can click it. And um, that's a funny one because LinkedIn sales navigator is not here. Like the advanced version is not here. Once again, you see the core version. Um, let's try this button. Sales navigator advanced, right? It's over here in this case. In case you cannot locate it here in case something is weird with LinkedIn. What you do is you go to LinkedIn, sales navigator, um, advanced, and then um, there is this link right here. It says compare pricing and plans. And then once you click it, you end up on this comparison page, which will load in a second, I hope, LinkedIn. There we go. And then you click view advanced pricing. You click here, and then you end up on the page that needs to be uh, worked out and then you click reactivate now so that's the way it operates guys i hope this video is helpful because it is smash that like button for me click the subscribe to the channel button i will be sharing more videos like this the helpful stuff to help you grow on linkedin get more of those clients get those contracts get all those followers those likes and everything i'll see you in the next one completely forgot i promise to show you what linkedin sales navigator advanced is really all about there are two powerful features that LinkedIn Sales Navigator Advanced has when compared to the core features. So the first one is uh, by far the best thing when it comes to finding the companies that really, really that you really want to work with. So usually the way it works with Sales Navigator Core, we go inside LinkedIn Sales Navigator Core, um, say, and then just try to find the companies using their search internally and then filter it out and then find the decision makers and then reach out to these guys. With Sales Navigator advanced version, what you can do instead is that you have a separate database. So for example, you have a database that you found or that you scraped, or you have like a list of companies you really wanna work with. And uh, you've got their website URLs, and then you can actually upload this information, this database spreadsheet directly to LinkedIn and then let LinkedIn do the hard work for you find these companies it maps these companies to your list and then find the decision makers right in there and that is really really powerful because you can basically collect this database and enter and in, uh, upload it to linkedin and then let linkedin do all this crazy stuff with it and then you just find the decision makers inside these companies you reach out to them and then you build connections and then you basically sell your service or whatever is that that you're doing and I'm going to show you really quick how to do this. This is LinkedIn Sales Navigator advanced version. As you can see that, there's the smart links as well. So that is what's different um, when, when it comes to the core version. So the, the menu is different. And to utilize the feature that I just described, you need to go to the accounts bit here, and then there's this button, upload accounts. And I'm not going to go over the whole process right now, but basically it's fairly, fairly simple you want to download the example template here, and then it will basically show you the format that uh, LinkedIn wants you to upload this data in there. So for example, it will be website URL. I recommend like website URL is the most important of all, in my opinion. And then you'd have like country, whatever, like the address, if that's available. If not, the LinkedIn, um, the URL of the website is, is, is fine, that will do. And then you need to have like the account name. So this is the name of the company itself. So in this case, this is LinkedIn. If you got like Microsoft, it will be uh, here, it'll be Microsoft and so on and so forth. You can also just have the domains. So in case with LinkedIn, it will be not just uh, LinkedIn because it's easier to do at scale. You would just have LinkedIn.com as a account name. It works just as fine but don't have anything apart from that because it, it kind of uh, breaks the way LinkedIn maps then. So, because otherwise you run into some mistakes. So you would have um, this bit of uh, database ready. And then once you, once you got it, you upload it to LinkedIn, you click continue and you can see that it wants you to map some of the uh, bits here. So you click continue and then you upload that CSV and uh, we can actually play with it real quick. And then LinkedIn is going to do some, soul surgeon and then we'll ask you okay 
of these that you've uploaded, what is a uh, website URL? Like for example, this is website URL, this is website URL, and then you want to have account name as well, this is required. And then once you have that, you click finish, and then LinkedIn starts to search and finds these companies. It takes only a couple of minutes. Once it finds these companies, what you do next is you go to in this uh, search bar and um, go right into see all filters. And this is where you will be able to include this list of companies. So you say SAS batch one, this is what my client is working on right now. So once you click include, it will basically just show you the people that only work in these companies that you uploaded to LinkedIn before. And then you can work through these guys, you know, finding their, um, finding their seniority level or current position and so on and so forth and reach out to them afterwards. This is the first powerful feature of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Another powerful feature that LinkedIn has built in into Sales Navigator advanced version is the smart links. I have to say, I don't use it at all, but it's fairly, fairly decent. I saw some uh, some people, like very, very few, because very few people know about this stuff. They would actually create smart links into well, first of all, what it does is it allows you to share relevant content, whatever it is, with your recipients and track your engagement. So if you share, say, like a presentation with them, you can see like what they've been checking out. So you can create a smart link here and then it will basically, um, you know, you can add some content, whatever it is, files or website, and then you can have those links in your inside your profile, for example, so that you can see who's ever clicked on those links and then because people we're often we kind of click the link but we never really do anything about it most of the time so that's the way for you say see whoever's been interested in the stuff that you're doing so they click the stand and they're like okay but then they never reach out to you so this is your chance to kind of go out there and say yo you know i you don't even have to say that i saw you checking out my stuff because it looks a little bit spooky right we don't want that it's a little bit weird but you can kind of knock their door and say you know like oh you know maybe you're interested and then we say oh i was just checking out your content <laughs> for example and then of course as if you don't know that you, they were checking out your content so that's the beauty of this uh, sales navigator smart links okay so all in all linkedin sales navigator advanced is a cool thing especially for any business that is um, that kind of finds it hard to find the prospects on LinkedIn because of just the amount of cleaning that you have to do because these guys, very often, they use some weird descriptions of their companies. For example, if it's a SaaS company, they rarely say they're a SaaS. They say they're a platform. They say they're a tool. They say they're, they're like an instrument or whatever it is. They rarely call themselves SaaS. So in essence, you have to go out there and search for them externally, and then afterwards, you would upload them. Same with, say, e-commerce stores. Yeah, so you can go and find a lot of e-commerce stores using Psy tools on Google. You know, like, uh, for example, search through the IP address for Shopify stores, which a video I did quite a while ago. Or you can use built with to find anything that uses the platform that you want to target for as your ideal class customers. So you can do all these things, and then you can upload this information to LinkedIn, find the decision makers. That way you know that your database is much cleaner so that you're not, you don't have that collateral damage, so to speak. Again, I hope this video has been that useful. I know it was. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.